Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia Dimdis and today I am going to show you guys how I got this high bun with a middle part. Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid are big on these type of buns. They always have a sleek hairstyle with a middle part. And I know it could be kind of hard to get a middle part when you do something high. So I show you guys how I section it and what I do to recreate the look. So if you guys want to see how I got this hairstyle, keep watching. So you want to start off with a middle part. I like to get the tip of my comb and go from the center of my eyebrow and just go straight back to get that center part. So now you want to take a triangular section at the top. So I start from the middle of my part and then go down in a diagonal so like that. This looks pretty good. So you're going to take that and just tie it away. I like to do this in sections because if you do it all up in one, then it's the middle part is it's just not gonna be there anymore. When I was assisting for a lot of celebrity hairstylists, a lot of times when you see these celebrities with sleek ponies, it's, they have it, they didn't just throw it up and call it a day. They took sections in order to make that ponytail and the reason it gives you more control, it lets you manipulate the way you want the ponytail to look. If I do this and then this separate, I can lay the middle part more down Versus if I were just put it all together, it just would kind of get lost up there. So I'm going to do it in sections. This part, you could do it all in one, but I like doing it in sections because I have a lot of hair, but it's up to you guys. If you guys don't like taking so many sections, you guys don't have to, but I'm going to do it. And then you guys can just change it up to the way you guys want. So I'm going to use Way Matte Pomade and I love this for sleek ponies. It just gives you a sleek look without making it look oily and it just tames all those baby hairs and so I love this stuff. So I get a little bit, put it on my finger, use my fingers to rake it into my hair. So I'm only going to work with this top section right now. I'm going to start from my ear and go kind of like an upward motion. So it's kind of like that. This is what's gonna make a snatch and just pull on your temple. So I like to go up from here to my crown of the head and that's gonna be my first section. So I'm using a brush to get it nice and sleek. If you need to add more product, then go ahead and do so. But I'm actually doing this tutorial for the second time because I didn't record it for YouTube, just Instagram. So I already have enough product on here. And since I am doing it in sections, it just allows me to have a lot more control and get a nice grip on it. So you want to make sure this is centered and it's um, at the height that you want it to be. So I'm going to take a ponytail and secure it. I'm going to take some more pomade and get the bottom of my hair, especially back here. Because this part, a lot of baby hairs can lay back there. So I'm going to take this section and connect it to this top section. So I'm going to start by putting some product back there and then brushing up to this section. So once I get the bottom nice and smooth, I like to work on the sides because sometimes you can see a disconnect over here since it's two separate ponies. So I like to just brush up into it to make sure that there's no line showing. And just keep brushing until you get it all nice. And all the way up here And this part may take some time and it does take a little bit of arm strength. My arms are getting tired, but I got it up and I'm going to use a hair bungee, but you guys can use a regular hair tie, but I like hair bungees because they just are more secure. I feel like it's, you don't loosen it up. Like sometimes with a hair tie, your hands loosen up a little bit when you like, when you try to do a turn. So now I have a sleek pony and now I am going to part my hair again. It actually 
got lost. So this looks good to me. So now you can add more product. I'm not going to put all the way up here because then the, the middle part will get lost. So I'm kind of just going to brush it and kind of see where I want it to lay. Like I don't want it to look unnatural. Like this would be too saggy. But I also don't want it to give me an egg head shape. If you know what I mean, sometimes like you could get a weird shape up here. But this looks pretty good right here. So you can bobby pin it, but mine's just gonna stay in place. So I'm just gonna do that right now. But you can use like a light bobby pin to just have it stay in place. So I'm gonna do the same thing. This is good. So I'm gonna get elastic and elastic and then tie it off. You have to be patient. You might have to keep readjusting so don't get frustrated if it goes back, if it wants to like go, um, if it wants to kind of pop back up. And now time for the bun. So we have the middle part and the bun, I just twist my hair and do a knot. I have a lot of hair, so I just have to do that. If you don't have a lot of hair, little tips and tricks is you can twist your hair and then pull out the edges. I have layers, but you guys can tug on the edges and it'll make your hair look thicker and it'll give you a lot more, you see that, a lot more hair. Or you can back brush, just getting a, a brush and going like this all the way down your hair. So when you do this, look how much thicker this looks. Um, and you guys can just lightly brush the outer edges so the tease is not showing. I have a lot of hair, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna wrap it and then wrap it around and just leave some hair out. I'm gonna get another elastic and just wrap one more time i'm not even gonna do it two times i'm just gonna do it one time i have these parts sticking out but i can always tuck it in hairs just tuck it in to my bun you can use some more of the way matte pomade and just tame them down and then you can play with these little hairs that are sticking out but i think i want this whole thing and one last thing i like to do is fill in my hairline I use Color Wow Root Cover Up, which is this powder that you can just put right here on spots that are a little lighter. And I am in dark brown and I am just filling in those spots so they could seem more full. So this is the final look, a top knot with a middle part. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see, make sure to comment below, press the like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.